What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We're still in Mexico. Got Robert, Kelly, Austin, Toby, Mag Bay, Sport Fishing Charters. We're on a boat right now, a panga with Robert, headed out to meet a commercial lobster fisherman to get on his boat, where Kelly and I are gonna go lobstering, and Robert and Austin and Toby are gonna go rooster fishing and just whatever they're getting into. Y'all watch the sunrise this morning, and when it gets done, we'll be on the lobster boat. You guys, this is so insane. Right here, our boat's pulling up. I am super jealous, y'all. That's all I gotta tell you. Look at this. Oh, I'm so ready. Buenos dias. Kelly, you know what we're getting into? Ah, you just pulled me out here. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. mi hermano, nada en español. Nada en español. Okay. No problem. Hey, nada en español. <laughs> Where it go? Look at that cool snapper. Lee? Hey, y'all don't have too much fun over there today. Gracias, <laughs> señor. Huge shout out to Toby setting all this up. Hey. We'll see you on the other side, Johnny. Hey, mi hermano, Gabriel. Gabriel. Señorita. Kelly. Ken. Jose. Okay. Mi hijo, Daniel. Y mi hijo, Francisco. I am so jealous right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. You guys, y'all know I love my crabbing and lobster videos. I think this will top anything I've ever done before. All right, y'all, we are here. We're doing it. We're in about 30 to 40 to 60 foot of water. They make these traps, they put concrete in each corner. And the other day when we were fishing, we saw them putting them right in front of their houses and I'm like, surely they're not catching lobster right there. Well, that was them seasoning the traps for opening day today. They've already been pulling traps though. And look at this. Look at the beautiful colors though. This would be a barely legal, but legal lobster at home. So we're going to start, they have traps in the boat, obviously. We're going to start setting and pulling traps. This is going to be like life changing. Look at this. They already caught this guy this morning. No clue what that is. How you say? Pargo. Pargo. You know that's good eating. Like I can do anything in the world right now in Mexico. I'm where I want to be right now. It's carnada, la comida de la Oh, we got to go do this. Look at this. Look at this! That's a whole nother video! You catch these in the traps? Yes. Big huge clams. How you say? How do you say? Uh, this is clam and, and lobster eat? Lobster eat? Lobster eat, yeah. Oh, yes. So that you use these for bait? Yes. Yeah. They use these for bait for the lobster. Dude, these guys are legit. Look at the color of that rock right there. There are people all around the world do all kinds of cool stuff. But right now I'm doing probably one of the coolest things I've ever got to do. Good. No, zero. Nada. Nada. Aquí, aquí. Hace muchos años, un barco. Oh, the boat. The boat. Okay. <laughs> so they're explaining to me that there's a shipwreck right there, a boat that's washed up on the beach. Hace unos 50 años. 50 years? 
So he speaks a little bit of English and that just makes it able, but don't ever be scared of somebody who doesn't speak the same language. God, dog! <laughs> Get your workout in today. Sit there. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Woo -hoo. My first ever lobster here in Mexico. So we got to gauge him. Yeah, see. Just like a Florida lobster. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. Throw him in. No bueno. And obviously this one's too small. So it's just like at home, right between their eyeballs to right here. This lobster is short as well. But that's okay, we're having fun. So they're using these little snail things as bait. They just tear them in half. Dude, this is insanely cool. Oh, oh, oh. I put it in the wrong hole. Dude, these traps are so nice. All I can tell you is you pull 20 of these a day, <laughs> muscles all I can say. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd be pulling lobster Thank trap you. buoys. Mexico. So at home we have GPS's and depth finders and all kinds of fancy electronics. These guys just look under the look over the side and say, looks good to me. I just have a bad back from being dumb my whole life. Uh. Oh, yes! There you go. A big one. We don't even need to gauge this one. He's definitely a keeper. All right, we got one keeper, so I'm at least having one lobster taco. So this is how they do it. They take one. He makes it look easy. <laughs> Just like this. Puts it in here? This side? Yes. Just like that. Totally dependent on the land. They catch their bait in the same spot that they catch the lobster. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You guys tell me. Leave a comment below if you'd want to be here right now. A lot of people think big fancy boats are the answer to life fancy trucks. They're nowhere I would rather be than with these guys right now with my girlfriend Kelly in Mexico pulling lobster traps. I couldn't care if we were on a kayak. Now I see him pulling. Come on, wrap it up! Here it comes. The water is so... Oh, I give him the lucky trap. Uh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Look at that! Oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> Look at this big one. <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness. Like a three pounder. Look at... Dude, tell me this isn't one of the most beautiful things ever. Jet black, white dots, blue on the back. Oh my goodness, we're not gonna waste a lot of time right now showing you these. When we get back to the beach where the lighting's perfect, we'll show you the rest. You got it? These little guys, all too small. No bueno. No. no. Ow! 
cow, you jerk. Could you imagine if Luke and Jake were here right now? They would be in heaven. The most amazing thing to me about these men is they're getting paid about an eighth of what people in America get paid, yet they're working about 10 times as hard on a, not even a comparable level to some people. And they're the most happy, friendly, loving people ever. If the whole world could mimic how these guys live, the world would be a better place, I promise you. So you're going to be able to see with the underwater footage, but there's big rocks just like above the water. They're under the water and those lobster will get up underneath them and at night they come out to feed. So he's wanting these traps to land right on the edge. Hey, you guys know why we're having such a great day? I show you. My lucky shorts, y'all. Hey, these, good luck. Lucky. <laughs> This guy's good luck. Yeah. Oh, oh, I tell you, every time this guy pulls a trap, he catches them. Look at all that. Yeah, that's Perfect. This is the best trap we've pulled so far, and we got many more to go. You guys, when we got here, we had one thing on our mind, and that was striped marlin, because this is the striped marlin capital of the world. We went out, and for some reason, the moon, the stars just didn't align, and we didn't catch many. Robert caught one to make an awesome video with, and I'm grateful for that. But this is why I came to Mexico. These people, this culture, this atmosphere. I grew up commercial fishing. Kelly and I are the same. Right now we're as happy as we've ever been in our life and we're on a simple panga doing simple things but hard work. It, it just doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> Every time he pulls a trap, it's full. We're changing his name to Lucky because every time he pulls a trap, it's full. Every time. Not one time has he pulled one and it not been full. <laughs> Woo! It's like you can, these out. things are strong. <laughs> They're stronger than Florida lobster, I can tell you. At home, we put them on our head. Here, I do this. <laughs> there you go. All right, you guys, so we're gonna put these cameras down because the whole time we've been out here, we've been filming. We haven't been able to just absorb all this. Don't go anywhere, though, because we're gonna get on the beach with these guys and they're gonna cook these lobster how they've grown up their whole life cooking them right here on the beach. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting this channel, and I promise you, the best is yet to come. We'll see y'all back at the beach. Can you go? So I think we ended up with about 20 legal lobster for them, and there's a co-op on the mainland that they sell these lobster to, to obviously pay their bills and earn their income. I can tell you though that if you knew the real dollar amount that they made off of all this hard work, you'd be very disappointed. But that's life, that's where they live, this is what they do. These are the happiest people I've ever met. And they probably have very little money. I can tell you guys, me and Kelly both, a lot of people comment on YouTube, oh y'all are rich, y'all are this or that. We're not even close to rich, but we're billionaires when it comes to happiness. We wake up every day happy to do the next adventure. Some of them take money, some of them don't. You can go walk on a beach, you can go to a park, call your grandpa, your grandma, your cousin, and go do something fun and it doesn't take a lot of money. What you think, Miss Kelly? Incredible. I have no words. It's so amazing here. 
I know personally for me, a lot of people would be like, why do you want to go get on that panga and go do what they're doing? It's called experience. <laughs> Literally. Probably one of the best experiences of my life. And I've been in some pretty amazing places. Not one time did these guys ever take a smile off their face today. And that says a lot. The bait. What do you say? Lapa. Lapa. Yes, Mexico Lapa. Lapa. What is the name of your dad's restaurant? And Restaurant Miramar. Restaurant Miramar. Ooh, we win. We'll see y'all at the lobster this evening. We're gonna put these cameras down, pick some more up, and we're going spear fishing, y'all. All right, y'all, we're here with the captain that took us lobstering this morning. He speaks zero English and I speak zero Spanish, and we had some of the best time ever. We're taking us a shot of tequila. Y'all never see us drink on this channel <laughs> because we don't drink very much, but when in Rome, do as the Romans. We got Joshua here. <laughs> His name is Joseph. All right. And I thought it was Joshua all day long. Robert messed up in the Snake River. We're going to take us one shot. We got a little bit of lime, a little bit of salt. You notice deer meat won't take one because he's a little bit of. Uh -oh. What? Hey, all right. Let me make sure that's in the party. We got Toby here. Both of these two are responsible for putting Robert and I on this trip and Kelly Young to me. Robert's been all over the world. I have it. I've been a lot of places. This is the most epic trip I've ever been on. By far the nicest people. Every person we've come in contact in Mexico has been just the nicest human. Like, I can't even describe how nice everybody's been since we got off the plane to right now. Yeah. Just, if you need something, they're right there getting it to you. If, if, you don't know what they're saying, and hopefully they're not talking about it. <laughs> but still, these are people live on this little remote island and they're the richest humans on the planet. There's not a big house here and these are the richest people in the world. Salute. 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 Here's that, yes. Oh boy. <laughs> swallow, swallow. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. How did you get out of that? Hey, you know what I'm saying, y'all. Ah. So listen, I gotta say something right now before we start cooking. All of Robert and I's videos are in English. All of our English speaking fans get to watch and enjoy all of them. He's about to cook these lobsters and only talk in his language, which is Spanish. Joseph will interpret a little bit of it, but I'm letting him cook how he wants to cook in Spanish. Oh, it's Joshua. <laughs> Don't confuse me. <laughs> I literally just asked Kelly when we were sitting like, is it Joshua or Joseph? <laughs> all right, oh, Joe. Joseph. Let's cook, all and day. I assure you, all I've heard is how good he cooks lobster. We're about to enjoy it. Robert just cooked flounder on his channel. You guys, make sure you check out his video. He just did a flounder catch, clean, and cook. The best fish tacos I've ever, the best fish yeah, it was sick. I've ever it ate in my insane. life. Period. I don't know if this video will be before his or not, but that video, best fish I've ever yeah. had. Period. And y'all are going to obviously see a lot of this whole Mag Bay area because I know I've done probably like three or four shows already. You've done three or four shows. Kelly's done two or three or four shows. I mean, y'all are going to know everything there is to know about Mag Bay by the time we leave. We came here for Marlin, and to me, that's such a small part of the trip everything else and i want to show the world what these guys offer you don't have to come like just come here and let these guys do what they want to do the rest of it is history yeah. you will literally today we jumped on a ponga drove how many 60 miles no i think uh, 120. <laughs> <laughs> literally we drove at least 40 50 60 miles best day of fishing i've ever had caught rooster fish um, a hawk fish, this crazy hawk huge fish. hawk fish, Trevally, um, Robert caught flounder, Pargo, Trigger Austin fish. caught Trigger his first show Austin over here, look Trigger at him, fish. he's there super he stoked. <laughs> Turn the camera around <laughs> and say hi. Hi. Hold up, we watched her catch a... How in the heck do you catch a trigger fish on oh, yes. a <laughs> diving lure? Kelly Young is the only person <laughs> on the planet to catch a trigger fish on a deep diving Rapala. Yes, slow trolling. How did you foul hook it? No. In the mouth. In the mouth. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna have to watch the video. How do you catch? How do you catch a trigger fish in the mouth on a Rapala? They don't even eat. I, it happened. We're in Mexico. What They're happens hungry. in Mexico? Stay in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, enough of the talking. I know a lot of you guys request us to do much more talking. Y'all like to see the behind the scenes. This is it. We're right here. Let's get There's our chicken. chef right back there. That woman can throw down the best fish I've ever ate in my life. Mom, I apologize for saying that. That woman fried the best fish I've ever had in my life today, ever. Let's go cook some lobster. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come here. We have a tradition. Come here. I want you Robert, to Robert, before you do what you're about to do, let me pre-warn you. I already did it and it hurts. Okay, never mind. Those things don't play around. <laughs> okay. Wow, he is strong. Bro, I put it on my head and regret Ow! <laughs> he's trying to get me. <laughs> Tell him. Hey, you see Tell him. I put it on my head? <laughs> he saw me. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> so at home, we put him on our head for a picture. That one will make you regret that. Wow. These what do you are... think he weighs? Four pounds. Dos kilos. Dos kilos. Dos kilos. Dos all right, let's let the boss do the work. Look at that knife. I okay, was about to say. Okay. Oh. He won't grab you anymore. So he cleans them pretty much just like we clean ours. I'm interested to see if they taste the same as era, ours. Era una hembra, lady. Yeah, la Señor, mujer. Señorita. Sí. Yeah, see. Señorita. He's saying she's a female, and you can see because of those little claspers that hold on to the eggs. Okay. In the sí. water. Agua con sal. Sí, agua salada. Sí, sí, sí. Si no pierde el sabor. Echas agua dulce, pierde sabor. Okay. Si comprende? Yeah. Yeah, fresh water. Fresh water is bad. Solamente agua salina. Yeah. So right now he's cleaning and splitting the lobster that we knew we were going to keep. I asked him if we could eat one of just one big one, and he said yes. So right now he's just splitting the lobsters, just like we always do. The poop shoot. You eat? Para comer? Malo. No. <laughs> Malo. All right, so he just got done cleaning all these lobsters. He washed them off in fresh salt water that came from right there in the ocean. Be sure to never do that with fresh water. It will de Dave, there's a big spider on you. Stop it! Are you there serious? There was a big spider big just yeah. jumped on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Can we get back to the show now? <laughs> my girlfriend scared oh. to death the spider. She oh. just had a big one on her. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow, be sure to never wash anything off in fresh water oh. as far as seafood goes. Now, I'm super excited. We have no idea what he's about to do, but he's about to do something. Let's go. Hold on a sec. Hold, hold up a second. Let me see. But can y'all smell it? It smells just like the ocean. Just pure goodness. Joseph, ask him how long he's lived here in this little village and what he's done his whole life. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas aquí en la isla, Checo? Viviendo. Tengo 35 años. 35 years. Pero toda mi vida en la isla, nací en Margarita. Oh, he was born there in Margarita on the other island, and now he lives here. I'm going to show you all a drone clip right now of this little village. It's so small, and these are the happiest people on the planet. Yeah, Dave, yeah. whenever, whenever I was a really young kid, and I was in Fiji, I was about 20 years old, I was sitting there with Mr. Fisher, and we lived on a little island, no electricity, no cars, no nothing. And there was a ad on TV talking about Somalia, how people were dying of starvation. And with tears in his eyes, he looked at me and he said, we are so rich here in PG. We have more food than we can eat. Happy people with more than they can eat. Yet in my mind, I thought they were poor because they didn't have a Home Depot and a Walmart to go into. Happiness is, is in your mind and where you are. That's and these exactly people right. are truly happy. When we were running out this morning, we thought another boat was ours, and it wasn't. And they saw us from afar and were just so happy. They didn't know they were going to make any money today. Nothing. They just were excited to take people to do. 
Got some fresh lime. Estamos este, preparando la langosta, la estamos este, marinando con limón, pimienta y sal de ajo. Es todo, al estilo pescador. Pepper, garlic salt, and lime is his recipe. Sí, me and Joseph, fisherman style. Aquí estilo pescador, con frijoles y tortillas de harina. With beans and corn tortillas. I'm just going to do what the Spanish people do when I talk to them. I'm just going to smile and say yes. <laughs> Dude, I want this at my house. Yeah. Yeah, we need that in our life. Big time. That has to be at the ranch. I don't know what he's doing, but I think it's going to be good. Okay, no te vayas a quemar. I did not expect that. Look at him. You know it's fresh with that awesome movement, but he's not alive. Look at that. Whoa. He's trying to crawl out from under there. Huele muy sabroso al estilo restaurante Miramar. But can you smell it? <laughs> Make sure you check out Kelly Young because she caught something in a lobster trap today that I don't think he's ever caught. I've definitely never seen. And it's pretty rare. And it fits who Kelly Young is to a T. It was literally like a God sent blessing. Make sure when she does her video, you check it out because she caught something insane. Del mar a la mesa. Señor, te doy gracias por este día por darnos el pan. Y te doy gracias por las manos también que le hicieron. Y te doy gracias por estas personas que que nos ayudan cada día a salir adelante. Señor, muchas gracias por todos los días que seguirán. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> I love this man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I wish you could understand what he said. Like, I understood thank you in Spanish, and that's all that matters. Awesome. Did you put any sunscreen on in this trip? I did not. Dude, look at, look, hold up. Look at, look how these lobsters just popped out of the shell. Wow. Huge shout out to Mr. Daniel today too. He took us on an epic adventure. Best lobster ever, bro. So this is probably, actually it is the best lobster I've ever had. And I make some pretty good lobster. This is phenomenal. <laughs> His first mm. lobster ever. Fifty-seven <laughs> thousand. <laughs> what do you think? Awesome, dude. So I ain't even kidding y'all. They don't sell this at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, it's phenomenal, man. Daniel, really good. Oh, she can't eat it. She's allergic, right? No, no, no. She didn't eat it. <laughs> she just got over allergies. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I had a talk with her. <laughs> you guys, we can't make this up by far. This is probably one of the best days of my life. Besides my kids being born and meeting Kelly Young, this is probably the best day of my life ever. You guys, thanks for watching. Obviously, I don't have to try it. I'm going to. Thank you to Toby. He set this whole entire trip up. You guys will be seeing lots more of him in Mag Bay Sport Fishing Charters, Fish Junkies.
The name of this stuff? <laughs> what did he say, Salt Junk? Gosh darn it, Salt Junk. Listen, I'm going to put the links below. Salt Junkies, he said. And ch check out his Instagram. Salt Junkies. Mag Bay. Mag Bay Lures. Gosh darn it. Anyhow, I'm going to have all the correct links below is what matters. Yeah, whatever he said. He said they're fished by her. She pulled those out. Yeah, definitely, Kelly pulled those out. Thank you. Y'all, this has been a long one, but a fun one. But like my son Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.